going to refrain from guessing who Ghostface is this time around because let's be honest, I've never gotten it right. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Christina. So today we're watching Scream 5. We're almost caught up with the franchise, but I think it's safe to say I love these movies. I have not been disappointed thus far, so let's get right into the reaction. But first, you already know. If you like the video, please be sure to like the video. And if you'd like to see more of my reactions, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want early access to the full length versions of my reactions, you can do so on my Patreon. The link is in the description. It is only $2.50 a month. If you also want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on social media, such as Instagram and TikTok. Although, to be honest, I use my Instagram a bit more. I am deaf, so I'll be using captions like usual. They have it. Always the goddamn phone. Okay, so I knew she was in it. Because someone already told me about that. Is she babysitting? Oh. Triggered by the inhaler. I had to live off one for like three months. Don't answer, please. You love art and TV and movies. Okay, well... Oh, great, the movies. What's your favorite scary movie? I'm so tired, yeah. I would die. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. The Babadook. Oh, I mean, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty solid. You know, it's like scary, but with complex emotional and thematic underpinning. I really hate these prolonged conversations. I wish you'd hang up. <laughs> you live in Woodsboro, and you don't know Stab? Do you remember the beginning? Hang up. Hang up. It's a girl at home, alone. Would you like to play a game? Hang up. Oh, that's a nice system. <gasps> Disconnect the landline at this point. You shouldn't answer it. Is this a prank? Oh. never be easy. Mm -hmm. Amber's looking particularly fetching tonight. Stab movie trivia. Three round. About It Follows. Ask me about Hereditary. Ask me about The Witch. Those are all good movies. Sparrow Native was introduced as the franchise's main character. It's Cindy Prescott and she lived on Elm. Who wrote the original book that the Stab movies are based on? Gail Weathers. It is Gail Weathers, you mother who was the killer in Stab 1? Technically Billy? It's Billy Loomis and he was Sydney's boyfriend and he was played by Luke Rosen. That's just not correct. What? The correct answer is Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker. No, 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 Amber, I'm coming. Yeah, I was gonna say, grab a weapon on your way out. Ow, ow. Ah! Oh shit, oh God. I need one of these girls to just stab Ghostface. Like, just turn it around, please. Wait for it. Keep waiting. <laughs> the police are on their way, asshole! The lights are about to go out, I swear to God. All systems disarmed. Or that, that too. <laughs> it's gonna pop up from behind. I know it. House before you could rearm. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bye, Jenna. It was nice knowing you. Please, I just want someone to stab him. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like this opening seems a lot more brutal than the last few. I don't wanna, I don't wanna look. Uh-uh, 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 mm -mm, nope. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I just need someone in one of these movies to just turn it around and stab Ghostface. I just need someone to do that. At that point, you can say self-defense, right? Okay. Can we trust Richie? Can we do that? I'm always skeptical of the boyfriend. What? She, Is she? She's alive, but in bad. Oh, she's alive. You guys aren't on the best terms, but. I'm on my way. Do they know who did this? Mm-hmm. 
She said it was someone in a ghost face mask. My sister was attacked. Oh, they're sisters. No, Richie. No, 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 Sam. I'm coming with you. I don't know if I trust you. Except for that one boyfriend, uh, Sydney's boyfriend from college. I don't know. I don't, I don't trust the partners. Unless it's Dewey. Just find my fan request. It's the smartest option with a would-be... Um. Posting the creepiest shit. Sure. Tara's awake. She just texted. Okay, some of the people in this cast I recognize. Not all of them, but I do recognize a couple of them. Um... So they have not spoken in a while, apparently. Thank you for calling. Of course. Oh, so this is Wes. Got it. Chad and Mindy, the twins, and Wes. I used to babysit them all. And Amber, hey. Hi. Oh. I want you to stay. Hi. The rest. Yeah. Yeah, the rest. Get out. Get, get the f*** out. <laughs> I was so scared. The ghost face a little bit sloppy. He actually let his victim live. Protecting Tara from her own sister? Well, someone has to. Okay. All right, hey, listen up. Ugly or Michael Myers, it was a summer fling, all right? Man, I'm talking about. I don't hear Fuck your goddamn voice. Uh, oh, God, please stop. Please stop. This blonde. Oh, wait, is he gonna die next? Yes. Oh, are they gonna hit him with the car? Is that you, pretty boy? Oh, you're gonna wish it was. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh God, Jesus Christ! <gasps> no, that was quicker. Oh God. Oh, uh, stabs on Netflix. Oh really? Now? Like, I'm just like, oh my God, time and place. Is the actors who play Sam the same actors from um in the Heights? You know me. What the? F How you doing, Sam? What the? F what the f is this? Antipsychotics aren't working as well as they used to, are they? I think I know what it is, but I'm not gonna guess yet. Hello, Samantha. <sighs> I'm getting so tired of these f***ing phone calls. Oh, your little family secret. Okay, I think my theory's right. Come and get me. With pleasure. Why? Oh, oh my god. In the hospital too. Sam, I need you to do me a favor and grab the nearest knife, please. Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. He's trying to kill me. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? We're gonna put more cops on a room, right? And I can move you to a private floor. I just know it too is. Good to see she's still around. I remember you too. Oh, right, right. And all the trouble you used to cause. You and your boyfriend can hit the road and leave it to people who actually care about this community. Jesus Christ, this is so hostile. Come on, Netflix, let's go. <laughs> These old diaries that you kept from high school. Sam, what is Please. This? Mom was dating dad, but she was in love with this other guy and he got her pregnant. And I'm screaming at her. And I didn't even realize that dad was standing right behind me. I'm the reason he left. And that's why I, I changed. And, and I got... Okay. Those diaries told me who my real father was. It was Billy, right? It was Billy Loomis. There we go. That explains it. And then I ran away. I'm so sorry. Get out. And then I get stabbed and you want to come back and you want to drop all this shit on me? No. Get the fuck out! That was in a very emotionally charged scene. Oh my god. It doesn't freak you out that my real father was a serial killer? I'm not leaving you here, Sam. My sister in Christ! Ma'am! Madam! I am more overwhelmed than a bull at a blood drive. What the hell? I love you. Mm. Okay, so either he's involved or he's gonna die. Oh! Oh! That's not who I think it is, is it? Oh my god. Where have you been? Where's Gail? Give me one good reason why I should talk to you. I'm Billy Loomis's daughter. Oh, that'll do it. It's a terrible reason for me to talk to you. <laughs> Stage and interview. Gail Weathers, weren't you two, um... Don't say in the past tense, please. God damn it. 
Why is your relationship so rocky? My boyfriend. How long mm. have you known him? <laughs> Six months. Oh. Ma'am! Ma'am! Nuh-uh. This man is Wimbledon, okay? Okay, do I have to take this from shitty Sam Elliott over here? Oh, excuse me. Show some respect. If you can find out why they're doing this, you can figure out who's next. If I'm in danger, that means you're in danger. Your time's up. Jesus. Oh, okay, Dewey. Okay. Yeah, he's way I more mean, fun in the movies. I get it. I get it, Dewey. I do. But she has a good point about you being next. If Dewey dies, I'm not going to be very happy with this movie. <laughs> so. I need to know what happened with him and Gail. I'm sorry. I love them so much. And I do know that the actual actors got a divorce in real life, but they are still very close. At least that's why I read. Oh. <gasps> hey, Shen, it's me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She looks so good. It's happening again. Are you okay? Fine, you know me. Do you have a gun? I'm Sydney f***ing Prescott, of course I have. <laughs> oh, it's just, oh, still has, has her in the favorites. Don't come here. She's gonna. You know she is. That, that's Gail f***ing Weathers. God, this is so difficult to watch. And the fact that he's still got like a picture of them together up there, oh god. To temporarily assist you in your investigation. You're such a good person, Dewey, please don't die. I can't handle if you die. That guy shower doesn't mean he should have a gun. Excuse me, show some respect. Grandpa's uh -huh. our uncle. R.I.P. Really? Ooh. Oh my god, there she is. How's the wife? Okay, Mom, we're oh. good. Oh. Thank you. So let me get this straight. You're saying that you're the daughter of Billy Loomis and the killer told me he knew my secret. And what about Deputy Dewey here? Maybe he's the killer. Maybe you need to just back the f*** off. Tim, his mom is Leslie Mocker. Stu Mocker's sister. Oh, shit. Killers. Oh my god, oh. he's making a requel. A requel? Some people, the original is their favorite thing in the world. Yeah. The killer is writing his own version of Stab 8. Which is... Yeah, I still don't understand. It's got to be part of an ongoing storyline. Not quite a reboot, not quite a sequel. It always, always goes yeah. back to the original. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it now. Randy would be so proud of you. Whoever it is has to be connected to someone that came before. Like you and your brother. I think it's pretty clear who the killer is at this point. You? Wait, Sam, wait. The I get that they don't right. like her. Oh my god. You need to up your antipsychotics. I'm not like you. Really? And cut some f***ing throats! No! Nope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Kind of, kind of cool to see Deputy Hicks again. I wasn't that keen on her in the beginning of 4, but I liked her towards the end. Got you, Tiger? Is she about to die? Right after I said that? Are we for real? Mm. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Gonna be like the scene from Psycho. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm nervous, so I'm playing with my hair. Sheriff Judy. Who is this? Got it, your baby boy. <laughs> this is Sheriff Hicks. I need units to converge on my house ASAP. Never seen the movie Psycho. There we go. I knew it. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Where are the units? In broad daylight, too? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Where are the units that were supposed to show up? Jesus Christ. Oh, lemon squares. I'm so sorry I made fun of your lemon squares. Where are the police units? Uh -uh, uh -uh. Uh. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh 
Jesus Christ. Oh, this is disgusting. This is so gross. Oh my God, I feel like I'm about to puke. I can't look because I'm going to puke if I do. Oh God, that made my stomach queasy. This movie's a lot more, not necessarily gory, but just graphic. Her son, Wes, is he? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, she has to babysit them, right? Oh, there she is. Yeah, don't come here. Like, she's gonna listen to you. Gail? A text? Ow! You tell me the killer's mm -hmm. back in a text? Yeah, could have been a phone call. Let's not pretend I'm the one who ended things. I made my choices, so did you. The mornings aren't so bad, because I get to see you. I'm on your side. You are a lot of things, Dewey. Not this making me emotional. What the f***? But you are not a coward. You just were meant to be in Woodsboro. And you were. And don't you. Oh my god. I think this is the first time I've ever teared up a screen movie, besides when I saw Vandy for like 10 seconds in three. They're looking for him. Who's at the hospital? Oh my god. Come on, let's go! Are the doors locked? Yeah, please. Girl, you got stabbed seven times. It's gonna take you a bit to move. <gasps> oh, and the leg. I forgot about the leg. This is the worst condition to be in right now for the kind of circumstance. Oh my God. Jesus. Why is there never anyone in these hospitals? Oh. Oh God, the one they left. <laughs> Oh, great. Great. Just what we needed. Ugh, the fleshy sounds. Does the phones even work? Oh. Ow! Oh, shit. I don't trust you. Shoot me with the phone. Look out! Oh. Okay, so I guess it's not Rickshie. Stupid. You're not I'm smart. Not You're not smart. Oh, if you really? go, go God, this, again, this is not the greatest condition to be in right now. <sighs> oh, it's a voice thing. Richie can't come to the phone right now. Kill Richie. No. No. The organs I missed last time. Chance to save one. Choose. Maybe I'm just stalling for time, Ked. It's gonna be alright. Uh, is it? Is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, please don't. Please. I can't. I can't. I can't handle. I can't handle if something happens to Dewey. Someone do something. Not today. He actually got him. Bulletproof vest. Wear the vest. Save your chest. Whatever. That thing. You have to shoot him in the head. They always come back. No! Do it! I can't handle. I can't handle this. Oh my fucking god! You. This movie. Nope. No. No. I don't want to see this. Oh my god, I'm so upset right now. I'm sorry. I can't believe this. I'm so upset. Mm -mm. I came as soon as I heard. No. But you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here either. Yeah, both of you should not be here. I'm so upset right now. I can't believe they just did that. You can't choose where you came from, or who you came hmm. from. You could never be like him. You're so high right I'm now. I'm so high right now. <laughs> Not even gonna... There we go. Need a break, some tension. We're gonna get the f out of Woodsboro. 
This sounds like a solid plan. Please. I'm really sorry about Dewey, but I'm taking my sister away from all this. It doesn't work. It always follows. I want your help. The host of a morning show commit murder. Correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. This isn't my story. Okay, good luck. Yeah, you're gonna need it. Her. I put a tracker on her car. Uh, smart. Like something Gail Weathers would do. Yeah. Learned a thing or two from Gail Weathers. Where's what? On my inhaler, I usually keep an extra. Oh, no. I left an extra one on Amber's. I don't know. I'm a little bit skeptical about Amber now. She's remained fairly safe this entire movie, besides the beginning with that little threat. Yeah. Keep pouring, Wheeler. Oh my god, for Wes? Really? See, she's clocking something. Oh, this feels a little too familiar. That was a test, and you failed. Yeah, and you should have asked me to come down here with you. How do you know I'm not the killer? Don't trust anyone. Then how can I trust you when you say you're not? <laughs> what was happening right now? No? Wanna go upstairs? Wait, isn't that the rule? You don't have sex or you die? But I, I think I have to pass on that. Entirely sure that you're not. Oh my god, my guy. Is to be down here with all the all the people. I mean, I'm kind of on his side. I'm sorry. Abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. Let's do it, lol. <laughs> god, at least take some sort of weapon. Here you go. I um don't know if that's good enough for me, but okay. You're not gonna fall for that, are you? Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Get the f out of there. Oh, oh! Why are you running away from the house? Run into the house. I need you to get back inside the house. Come on, you got this. Run inside the house. Run inside the house. Where are you going? Surprise, motherfucker. No, stop. <laughs> oh. Oh, did you not see that? You think I'm waiting out here just to get murdered? You're out of your mind. Okay, stick together. Together. No, no. So it's Amber, right? Now I can't have sex and I can't get a ride home. Liv, where's my brother? Are you afraid of me, Mindy? <laughs> You're the expert. I'm gonna need you to back up. Expert? Oh shit. Hello, you need to get out of that house right now. Why? Stu Mocker's house where your dad and Stu killed it. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Watch out, Jamie. Oh, no. You know he's around. I was trying to like Mindy. Come on. Look Jamie. behind. Jamie. Come on. Think about it. Shit. Oh. Stay with me. your hands what? I'm not a killer. this is going oh. oh i knew it there are always two killers look i think i think the other killer might be tara how well do you really know her except that she was stabbed seven times oh god trap yep oh come on not gail go finish it sydney for dewey oh man I guess that's why they didn't show the front of the house. Killer or not, you have five seconds to show yourself. Oh my god. God, Tara's been through it this entire movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would be terrified too. I wouldn't know who to trust. Oh, there's two of you. Again. <laughs> In Christ, the same house. Maybe mm -hmm. show me. Answer the I'm bored. Wait. Oh, thank you. And, uh, show me your hands. What are you doing in there? I'm not gonna come out. You're shooting everything. Okay, Richie, do something. Oh, ow, ow. 
Someone dab Ghostface for me just once. Wait for it. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I really wanted to be the one to kill you. Oh my god, are you f***ing serious? You had the inhaler the entire time? It's a bummer, it's me. <sighs> I had a feeling. Never trust a love interest. Let's get him into the kitchen. <sighs> really? You guys are gonna make it seem like the actual movie? Because nobody takes the true fans seriously. Not really. Oh my god. How can fandom be toxic? Well, you're like exhibit A right now. Back up. <gasps> Back up. How did you know? Oh, about your father? Small town and your mom's a drunk. Oh. Wasn't that hard for me to find you in Modesto? See, we had to bring the legacy characters back to make it matter. Dewey had to die to make it real. Oh. 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 This time, the fans are going to be the ones who win. That about cover it? Nailed it, baby. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, your requel sucks, man. He nailed it in one. Dude, look at the love interest. <laughs> I'm tighter. Dumbass. Oh god. That's for you. I can't fight her! Be her to death with it. Amber! Oh! 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 There we go! There we go. There we go. Good. Good. No, no, no. It was the message board. I was radicalized. Shoot her. Kill her. You killed my best friend. Died like a pussy. There we go. Think about slashers, Sam. No one's stabbing them. I need someone to be stabbed. The killers, I mean. <laughs> Sorry about doing Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. Finally, thank you, thank you. This is what I needed. Enjoy that torch. <laughs> no, let this house burn down to the ground, please. Oh God, why does he? <laughs> Pop out of that closet in a ghost face mask. Oh. Because you're the villain. Well, if you need help, a serial killer, you know, a dead serial killer would definitely help you. I'm introducing a new rule. Never f*** with the daughter of a serial killer. Oh! Oh! There we go. Thank you. Finally, someone stabbed them. Thank you. What about my ending? This is your ending. Here it comes. Oh. Got a little too aggressive at the end, but, you know, I appreciate it. Finally, someone did it. Oh my gosh, still alive? Oh my god. Okay. I still prefer the Papadook. Valid. Valid choice. Oh, she's still alive? Thank god. Oh, okay, thank god both of them are alive. Okay, cool. The one thing that would connect me back to Randy, I could not lose that. Are you gonna be alright? To survive? Mm -hmm. I always do. At least I know what I'm gonna write about. About a good man who used to be the sheriff here once. I'd like to read that story. Am I gonna be okay? Eventually. That's a pretty loaded question. Especially because she kind of has a different story than Sydney so far. Hey, hey, Sam, Sam, Sam! You're not going anywhere without me. Yeah, these two are gonna be bonded from this point on. So that was Scream 5. Let's talk about it. Like usual, I'm keeping this brief because these movies, as they continue, are just so unpredictable and I don't want to make an ass out of myself by saying something that will later be contradicted. But nonetheless, this was... This was good. I think it'll take me a bit to warm up to this new cast and the new characters and the new storyline that they've introduced to us here. I do think Sam and Tara's story is very interesting and there's a lot of potential there, so I'm excited to see where it goes in Scream 6. I really enjoyed Sam. She's very tough, just like Sydney, or should I say Billy Loomis. It's an interesting dynamic to have this hallucination of your dead father almost be your guardian angel, for lack of better words. 
considering what he's responsible for in the first film, you know, being a serial killer and all. It seems like she's using it more to her advantage, though, to protect herself and her loved ones. I hope that continues because I would really hate to then see her become the villain. Tara, played by Jenna Ortega, I just felt so bad for this poor girl. <laughs> She's got asthma, worse than me apparently. She got stabbed seven times, her leg got broken, and she's just being tossed around like a rag doll. Like, poor girl went through it in this movie. I hope in the next one she's in better condition to come, you know, face to face with a killer. I, I hope so. It was cool to see some of the old cast members, and no, I'm not going to talk about Dewey right now because I'm still very upset and I refuse to acknowledge it at the moment. Just know that I loved him, and now a piece of me is missing. It's like Randy all over again. But it was wonderful to see Sydney and Gail teaming up at the end. They've come a very long way since the first film where I guess you could say they didn't necessarily like each other. So it's cool to see how close they are now. Don't know if they'll be in Scream 6, but I'm a sucker for them. So it would be nice to see them again. As for the killers of this one, they were something. I'm not sure if I necessarily liked them as much compared to the other killers we've met along the way in the franchise. We didn't get to know Amber that well, so it wasn't too much of a surprise when she turned out to be one of the killers. But nonetheless, the actress, Mikey Ma Madison, I believe is her name, played the part very well at the end. Truly unhinged energy, definitely made me think of Stu from the first film. As for Richie, played by Jack Quad? Quaid? I didn't necessarily see it coming, but was 100% prepared for it because as I said, I don't trust the love interest in any of these movies. Richie and Amber were ridiculous in their reasoning for doing all this, but I guess it lines up with Billy and Stu in the first film, as well as some of the other killers throughout the franchise. This weird, messed up connection to seeing everything as a movie instead of reality. I don't know if that'll keep holding up for me as the movies continue, but we'll see how it's handled in Scream 6, which I'm looking forward to, and that reaction should be out in a couple weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Please leave your comments below. If you enjoyed this film compared to the others, how do you feel about the new storyline with Sam and her connection to Billy Loomis? Did you guys see the killers coming? Were you able to predict it? I'm curious. Like, I want to know people's opinion on this one, really, since it's meant to be a requel. I'm just curious to know how fans of the franchise felt when they saw this one for the first time. Like. Did you like it? I, I need to know. If you liked the video, please be sure to like the video. And if you would like to see more of my reactions, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want early access to the full length versions of my reactions, you can do so on my Patreon. The link is in the description. It is only $2.50 a month. If you also want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on social media, such as Instagram and TikTok. But like I said before, I use my Instagram a bit more. Thank you so much for watching Cream 5 with me. And until the next video, bye.